What's going on you guys? Welcome back to Yaks Welding. Uh, it's been a minute since I've said that one. Uh, so, been away for a few months, uh, just been doing some stuff off camera. Um, I did film some stuff, but I never got around to uh, putting it out on YouTube. But uh, here we are, feeling energized, feeling motivated. Uh, so I'm gonna bring you guys some more content and I got some time off of work coming up so it'll be perfect time to uh, kind of get back into it all right so as you saw let's start with the car um, i ended up getting it on a hall tech ecu so um, i had been battling some issues with the uh, distributor and not having the uh, proper settings in the software um, but i didn't know that when i was troubleshooting so i ended up wiring a completely separate like mini harness to the distributor um, so everything down here is pretty ugly but uh i think i've got it squared away enough to where i can now drive this thing around and uh, get it retuned so i'll be working with my tuner dan um same guy that tuned me on s300 again if you need any uh s300 um e-tune stuff go ahead and hit hit, hit him up blah, 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 hit him up um, i'll put his instagram uh in the description below so plan is to uh get this thing tuned on e85 this time around and uh, make some jam. So uh, that's pretty much the biggest change with the car. I did take it to a track day, which I will um, post a separate video of that in case you're interested. Um, took first place in my class, so car did really well. And uh, ended up doing this, uh, I don't know if you guys saw this uh, headlight scoop here um, for the turbo. Um, change I did there to uh, lower intake temps and it did so that worked out great and then uh, just kind of rattle can the hood black and added this mesh um, hood vent thing uh, looks better than that other one I had on there so um, that's pretty much it with the car as far as changes and uh, expect another video coming up here soon of me driving this thing around and getting it retuned on pump gas all right, so something else I've been working on the last few months is this, uh, this car trailer over here. So I was always having to rent those stupid little U-Haul uh, car dollies. So decided I was gonna put one together and uh, it's just big enough for the Civic and it should work really well. So pretty happy with how it came out. Um, I did a dual axle 3,500 pound um, setup. So it should be able to handle uh, around 7,000 pounds. Um, and then yeah, I still have some work to do. I need to add some lights to it. And then uh, I wanna do a two foot dovetail on the back um, and I need to make some trailer amps. So those will be some videos of uh, me trying to stick weld for the first time. Yeah, so that'll be fun. But yeah, uh, this is a new trailer. Should work well uh, for towing the Civic. So uh, obviously, if I have a, uh, a car trailer, um, I'm not going to be towing it with the little Ford Ranger. So I'll show you guys what I picked up. So picked up this uh, F-250. It's a 2006 uh, 6.0. And uh, it's got all kinds of mud on it because I just went hunting the other day. But uh, yeah, this is a new uh, tow rig. So been super happy with it. And uh, I've had it for a few months now. And uh, yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much what I've been up to um, the last few months. Um, so look forward to some new content with the car, getting it tuned on the Haltech. And then uh, I'm gonna be doing some uh, stick welding things with the uh, trailer, getting it finished up and registered. That way I can uh, tow the Civic this next race season. Um, so that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. I, like I said, I will post that other track day video um, as soon as I upload this video. 
Um, so check that one out if uh, you're into that stuff. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.